snow i've been thinking so much about how i love the snow and how much i miss it i used to live in nova scotia and i really loved the winters there and i really wish that we got more snow on the island and this is just it's just a wonderland it's so beautiful and i'm so happy that winnie has had his first snow experience because he just loves water water is his element he loves water so much and i'm really excited for him to discover this new texture of water and my forest looks so beautiful <laughs> The synchronicities that I've been experience, experiencing have really changed my definition of miracles and I really want to share this with you and it's really personal. Uh, I started out the beginning of this year experiencing death in an extremely traumatic and horrific way when my Binks was killed and and it was just it was just awful and i really descended into a really deep and dark depression after that and it's taken me most of this year to recover um it's just a heartbreak that is difficult to explain and i'm ending this year 2021 experiencing death in a completely a different way but both ways have given me blessings that I could never have imagined that could have grown from death so a few weeks ago it's the end of December uh, right now tomorrow is New Year's a, a few weeks ago on my birthday December 11th my Nana died she died on my birthday and she was my great-grandmother she was 97 years old i was her first great-grandchild and so it's really surreal to think about you know that first day that i was on this earth she probably never ever thought that that would be the day that she died and we were really close and so i i, I don't think about it as a negative thing i think about it um I don't know it's kind of a beautiful thing and the synchronicities that happened from that time to now have been so life-changing for me and so 
just so surreal. I want to share one of those synchronicities with you because it's just so incredible. So my Nana dies on my birthday and that week my dad gets a phone call from the guy in our town who digs graves and he says I just got a assignment to dig a grave and I can't do it because I'm going out of town and I'm wondering if you can do it because my dad runs like excavators and backhoes and my dad thought this can't be a coincidence um, and it was just so weird because my dad said he has not dug a grave in 20 years so my dad calls me and I confirm with my family that that is in fact for my Nana and uh, my family says that they would be honored for my dad to bury my Nana and so that's what happened he buried my Nana on the winter solstice on December 21st the day of Yule the day of the winter solstice and we buried my grandpa's ashes with my Nana and so my dad buried my Nana and grandpa on the winter solstice and it was just so surreal for me having my Nana pass on my birthday and then have that synchronicity of my dad burying her after not having done that for over 20 years. It, it's just like, what are the chances? You know, like it was just so crazy. And it's just having me really think about how that is a miracle. I think that when we think about miracles, we really think like, oh, it's, you know, uh, <laughs> this person survived or this thing happened and it's, it's so miraculous. But I really do think that that situation with my dad and with my Nana is a miracle. And so that's what I've been going through. I, it's just so crazy to end this. It's so crazy to have started this year experiencing death in such a horrific and painful way. And then to end this year experiencing death in a really beautiful and transformational way. This cycle of life and death has really felt like a spiritual initiation for me. And by the end of this video, you'll see how it's all really coming full circle for me at this moment in time. snow treat for you. Um, I've been waiting almost a year to share this with you because I wanted to wait until I had a snowfall to share it. Um, about a, a week or two before Banks died, he died on February 23rd, um, we had a big snowfall around Valentine's Day and I started to film a vlog and I never finished it. And so I'm going to share that with you now. Um, so it's the start of the vlog and me playing in the snow with Banks. And this is one of the last videos that I made with Banks. And I'm just so excited to include this footage of Banks playing in the snow uh, in the same video of Winnie playing in the snow. I think that's really special. Um, so I'm just really... Um, I'm really excited to show you this footage of Binks and so thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support on losing Binks and gaining Winnie and just thank you so much. So I hope you enjoy. Bye. Okay, let's go. 
So I just went on a snow drive with my best friend Anna and now Binks and I are going to go for a snow walk around the yard. He loves feeling the new textures of snow beneath his paws and he just soaks it all up. And so we're gonna go do that now. Oh, look at the snow. Let me tell you once again, and you know that it's true. Whoa! 